Hello, I'm Jay Warona, NISBA's General Counsel and Director of Legal and Policy Services with today's mailbag question. Is it permissible for a school board member to abstain from voting? The answer to this question is yes. In general, the education law does not specifically prohibit a school board member to abstain from voting. However, board members are generally discouraged from doing so. The intent of the law is that all board members will fully exercise their authority to represent their constituents by taking part in all decisions and ultimately voting their conscience. In this way, the members of the public are able to gain an understanding of the viewpoint of their representative school board members and thus be able to keep abreast of all deliberations and actions on the part of their school board. There are two circumstances, however, in which it is considered appropriate for school board members to abstain from voting. First, any school board member who has a conflict of interest or a perceived conflict of interest is expected to abstain from discussing issues related to their area of conflict and from voting in such matters. Secondly, School board members who feel that they do not have enough information in front of them to make an informed decision might also wish to abstain from voting on such matters. However, board members who feel as though they need more information to fully take part in deliberating and voting on issues that will come before the board are expected to appropriately secure such information prior to the school board meeting, at which time the specific matter will be discussed and thus be in a position of feeling a need to abstain from voting. The Commissioner of Education has ruled on at least one specific situation that school board members are not free to abstain from voting on matters in which they have philosophical objections. In this specific case, a board member had indicated that he was philosophically opposed to the concept of tenure and would thus abstain each and every time a teacher or an administrator in the school district was up for tenure. Although the commissioner determined that it might be possible in a certain circumstance for a board member to abstain, a board member cannot make the determination to do so across the board because as a public officer, a school board member is required to follow the dictates of the law and provide staff members with appropriate consideration of providing them with tenure. Learning about your responsibilities as school board members is each school board member's responsibility. Making sure that such knowledge is imparted is the responsibility of your membership organization, the New York State School Boards Association. Attorneys in NISBA's legal department are always here to field your important legal questions. Our goal is to help you understand how the law affects you as school board members. Please feel free to call us at 1-800-342-3360. Please remember to send your questions to mailbag at nisba.org.